You have your Bible? Numbers what? 22. Everybody shout hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Okay, you can take your seat, please. Do you know the reason why you and I have to break some curses at times? Can I say it again? Do you know the reason why you and what I do must support? have to break some cases at times you don't know shout hallelujah look at somebody and say at times you have to break some certain cases shout hallelujah anybody that will tell you that there is no the word cash in the bible that person is false. You have to believe it. And I'm going to tell you something which I pray that you will have deeper understanding. Shout hallelujah. I say anybody that will tell you about the word what? That there is no curse, curse. in the Bible, church, that person is what? False. Curses are real. Listen, we have to accept it so that you can deal with it. You can deal with it. Shout hallelujah. They are rare. And anyone that will tell you that there is Satan doesn't have power, tell that person it's a lie. And as a prophet of God, for me to stand here and tell you that anyone that will tell you that the Satan doesn't have power, it's a lie. I think I have to exalt God Almighty. Am I right? I have to lift uh, his name up. But what do I have to say this? I want you to know that Satan has power. You have to accept it. Shout hallelujah. But I have this good news for you. Amen. Satan has no power than our master. Mm. Yes. Our master is the overall boss. Satan is under him. So I want you to know that all the powers of Satan and all his activities, they are under your, your feet. Because our God Almighty, dear God, defeated him on the cross of the world, Calvary. And he shouted that it is finished. So watch this. So all the powers of Satan and his activities, church, you, manos you. All his arrows, all his plans, you know, against your life will never come to pass. Amen. Do you know the reason? The reason is that you have a covenant with God. You are a child of God. So those who doesn't know God, Satan can fight against them. And it will work. But those who know God and dwell in him. You know, the book of John, that's how times some people stand on it, that those are, uh, for God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son, and those who, what? Should not, and have, and have everlasting. Let me tell you this, that is the word of God. You will have everlasting life, but listen to me. When we talk about uh, uh, the kingdom of God and about salvation, it's a condition. Look at someone and say, it's a conditional thing. It's a conditional thing. Look at someone and say, it's a conditional thing. It's a conditional thing. Those who believe in what? Should have everlasting lasting life. But watch this. You can break the covenant you have with God. You can break it. He will not break it. But you can break it. Mm. Though you have everlasting life, a covenant with him, he is a covenant keeping God. Yes, but when you sin against your God, you break the covenant. With him. Mm. So there is something you have to do. 
and to be under the covering of God. What is that? For you abide by his words. Mm. Yes, Lord. So sin can disconnect you from God's, covering. God's what? Covering. covering. Sin. Somebody will say that a Christian, no one can curse a Christian. Yes, I believe. Nobody can release a curse on you. Once you have a covenant with one, God. But let me tell you this. I want you to know. When you break the covenant you have with God, and when someone releases a curse on you, it will work. Yes. Mm. We have to handle the word of God in both sides. Mohammed come. Tell him I come. Jane come. Look at these three wonderful people. Am I right? Yes. Everybody forgive me with due respect. I am God, okay? Don't go out there and say that, hey, <laughs> professor, now he's God. No. I am God. Watch this. And this one will confess. Oh, dear Lord, may you forgive our sins. Write our name in the book of what? Life. Father, I pray that you will cleanse me from all. I promise you that I will not sin again. Lord, use your son Jesus, his precious what? Blood, and wash my sins away. Let me tell you, that day, that same day, these three wonderful people will come under the covering of God. Of God. It's very small. They will come under the covering of what? God. Because now, they are now have a covenant with who? God, God Almighty. And watch this. Any arrows, may God forbid, excuse me, Teresa, forgive me. Any arrows that this witch will try to release against this one, be caught against them, because they are under the covering of God, mm. It will not work. It will, not, yes, Lord. it will hit this covering, am I right? Yeah, and bounce back. Bounce back. Yeah. Watch this. That is the reason why, church, listen to me. When we enter into the things of God in terms of warfare, don't let anyone deceive you. In warfare, there is a word called back to sender. <laughs> Don't let anyone hold half truth, babies, and destroy your mind. In the things of God, in terms of warfare, we have something that is called back to sender. Warfare. I'm talking about warfare. Spiritual warfare, yes. Warfare, when your enemies release bullets on you, you don't stand and say, oh, in the name of Jesus, don't do that. You fire back. Oh, yes. And when you release bullet at me, and when I fire back, it's not back to sender. It's going back to sender. <laughs> what you release upon me is what I am. I don't have to stand and for you to shoot me. I have many people to, uh, uh, that they have to depend on me. I must fire back. It means that back to sender. So in the face of God or warfare, there is a term called back to sender. Amen. They fire, you fire. They release, you release. The, listen, that is the law about what? Warfare. But listen to me. When you move from warfare and become normal, normal, then I will tell you about the book of Matthew 6 that Jesus said, I will read. And you will know. Jesus said, let this one stand here. You must continue. Muhammad, you are getting the anointing now. <laughs> Pastor, uh, 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 Pastor Chris, read the book of Luke. Luke 6. Luke chapter 6. Be fast. And verse 28. Luke 6, 28. I want you to write it down. When you are coming next time, church, you guys must be uh, a student. 
When you are coming, it's not only your Bible. You must bring your book and yes, your pen. pen and, and write some certain matter, things down. Yes. When you go home, you go through and see that if the man preach good or not. Yes. Yeah, read. Luke chapter 6 verse 28. Look, look. Look chapter what? 6 verse 28. Everybody look chapter 6 and verse? 28. Uh-huh, go. Bless those who curse hold on, you. Hold on, This one came up from the mouth of, of Jesus. Jesus that bless those who curse you. Uh-huh. Pray for those who mistreat you. Pray for those who mistreat you. If someone strikes you on one cheek, turn to him the others also. Hold on. Don't let anyone deceive you. Pray for those who curse you. And you must uh, what? And refer, if someone strikes no, no. you. No, no. Start it again. He said, bless those who curse Hold you. Hold on. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. Pray for those who mistreat you. Yes. <laughs> if someone strikes you on one cheek, turn to him the other also. Can I tell you something? Three things. Three things. Yes. Read it again. One, four, ten. Bless those who curse you. Hold on. When you curse me, I have to bless, bless you. you. Do you know the meaning when you curse me, I have to bless you? Do you know the meaning? Everybody watch this. When you curse me, that you from the I curse you. I have to bless you. <laughs> oh, you will die. You will not survive. You will die young. And I will say that, may the living God, I bless you in the name of Jesus. May you live long. May you live long. Look at what Jesus said. And number two was what? He said, pray for those who mistreat you. When someone mistreats you or something, pray for, pray for them. them. Uh -huh. If someone strikes you Hold on. on. When I slap you, <laughs> back on the, the left the side, left. Uh -huh. turn the right. right. And say that Papa slap again. Listen to me. Listen to me. Jesus was talking about forgiveness. He was talking about what? Forgiveness. All the words, three words, yeah. is about forgiveness. It's about what? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. And do you know that forgiveness? Watch this. It means that when this one slap you, Give this one. Before you can dilute the word of God and understand things of God, church, at times don't use carnal mind. It means that when I come to you and when you give me this, I will not continue to stand and for you to slap this. I have to learn sense. The mistake that I made and for this one to give me this, I have to refrain from you. I will not stand and for you to give me another one. So for somebody to give you, pa, and you say, it's left with the uh, left one. Hit it again. Church, the question right now is, does it make sense? Does it make sense? Shout hallelujah. He was talking about forgiveness. So, bless those who curse you. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Bless those who curse you. And look at what Jesus said again. He said, when you give your ring. He said, pray for those who mistreat you. Uh -huh. If someone strikes you on one cheek, turn to him the other also. Uh -huh. If someone takes your cloak. Hold on. If someone takes your cloth, mm -hmm. uh -huh. do not stop him from taking your tunic. <laughs> do not stop him from taking your what? Your tunic. Your what? Your tunic. Uh -huh. He said, give to everyone who asks you. And if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Shout hallelujah. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. may the living God mm. open your eyes yes, Lord. and for you to know some certain things. Jesus. Look at this. Bless those who curse you. curse you. 
Turn that same your Bible mm -hmm. to the book of Genesis. Genesis 12. John, where is my mantle? Oh, okay, Mohammed. Let me have another one. Genesis 12. Hey. And verse number 3. Mm. I will hold on, hold on. Genesis 12 and verse number what? 3. Look at this. So. Bless those who... Who... Bless... I will bless no, 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 those hold on. Bless uh, those who curse you. Who curse you. And look at the book of Genesis chapter 3. And I will 12, bless and verse those 3. who bless you. Be on your feet. Who do, look at this. This one, the living God, our own Papa, said, I will bless those who bless you. I will bless those who bless you. And whoever curses you, I will curse. Hold on. I will bless those who bless you. Yes. And who ever, ever curses, curses you, you, I will curse. Look at these two words. I heard somebody say, wow. Yeah. Look at this one. Bless those who curse you. Then when you come to the book of Genesis, I will bless those who bless you. And those who curse you, I will curse them. Do you know the reason why? Watch this. Watch this. Curse is a word. It's a what? A word. When someone releases a word against you, then you know that it's a curse. Number one, you have to reject it. You have to what? Reject it. Reject it. But if you know that you are at fault, that you did something wrong, bad against that person, you repent. You turn away from your sins. If not, you are a Christian all right. But that word, out of pain from the person's mouth, it can affect you. Not it can, it will affect you. Oh, I am a child of God. I don't want my children, church, to put only this way. I'm a child of God. I'm no more under any cash. So when someone cash me, that it won't work. And you know that this lady, Mercy, has a husband. And as a lady, you went in, grabbed her husband, George. As a Christian, number one, it's a sin. And because you sin against God, you've already break the covenant you have with God. And when someone releases a word against you, it will work. Yes. Don't tell me that I'm a child of God. I have a covenant with God. It will work. Why? Because what you did doesn't imply with God's word. And before you can come up from that case, you have to let him go and repent from your wrong. Am I talking to somebody? Am I speaking to someone? Yes. Let's take it now. Somebody that used to give you something. Someone that fed you, gave you something. And now you become someone. And you will stand somewhere. And say something wrong. Or something evil against that person. When the person lifts his head up. It will get you. So, don't always... 
Do the right thing. Always do the right thing. And leave the matter into the hands of God. Of God. Amen. Listen to Amen. me. Amen. Doing the right thing, you have a covenant with God. And out of jealousy, when someone curses you, it won't work. Yes. Because a curse without cause it will, not will not stand. stand. Yes. But a curse with cause it will, come to will stand. You know that a person has a, a husband. They have two or three children. And you want to force yourself in. When you bring someone's home, another lady will come and break your home. Your own home. Ah. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless those who curse you and those things. Jesus was talking about forgiveness. All of them is about forgiveness. When I take a suit from you, don't come and ask me back. How on this earth? That I will come to you, can I offer you this and you won't come and ask me? Church, I will come and ask. Because I need it. You didn't tell me that give it to me for forever. I have to come. He was talking about forgiveness. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. But, watch this. But, why but? You must always release a word against a word. Ask me why. Why? Somebody Let's take it, someone had a dream. And you were uh, this thing, dead, something in a coffin in the whole thing. That I, I saw you in the whole. You can say that, prophet. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I cancel it in Jesus' name. That is not sin. That is not what? You cancel it. In the name of Jesus. Those who plan it against me, I return it back. That is the spiritual rules in terms of warfare. In terms of what? Warfare. And the people that will say, you know, you, you don't have to release a word. You don't have to bind your enemies. We have to intercede for them. That is not how warfare, spiritual rules operate. No. When we talk about warfare, it has nothing to do with forgiveness. Warfare is warfare. The same God who said that we should forgive those who uh, uh, curses us. The same God said that I will bless those who bless you. And those who curse you, I will curse them. And this one was from the mouth of God Almighty. And the Luke one was from his son Jesus. But we all know that Jesus did not come to abolish the law. But Jesus came to fulfill. So a whole Bible contains 66 books. New Testament 27 and Old Testament 39. Why God said that I will bless those who bless you. And I will curse those who curse you. Why the living God said that? Church, do the right thing. Number one, fear God. Don't wrong anyone. Don't do any bad thing to someone. And let me prove to you, pray for those who curse you and the whole thing. Let me prove something to you. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Let's go to the book of Matthew 7 and verse number 12. Let's go right now. Anderson, you can sit and let this wonderful one. I'm going to, I will finish very soon. Matthew 7 and verse number what? Number 12. Read. So in, in everything. Hold on, hold on. So in everything, 
do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. So in what? In everything. In everything. Do to others. Do to others. What you will have them do to you. What you have them to do mm. to you. If you know that what you are doing to someone is not good. That is principle. So it's the book of Matthew. Uh, I think you just quoted it from New Testament or Old? New Testament. New Testament. That do unto who? It's written in what? Came out from the mouth of Jesus. So do unto others what you have them do to you. Uh -huh. For this sums the what of the law and the prophets. Okay, God bless you. This one came out from the mouth of who? The mouth of Jesus. Everybody shout hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Am I talking to somebody? Am I speaking to someone? So I just want to beg. All the entire members in this uh, yes, wonderful church. Please, the things you want others to do to you, to you do the same. Make sure. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Don't Amen. put fire on yes. someone's marriage. Mm. And Don't break someone's home. Yes. And you expect God and say that I have a covenant with God. You have already break the covenant with him. And when something happens to you, God will not come in. Yes. Because God is a just God. Mm. The person has already promised, I'm going to marry you. I don't like, I don't like my wife. Excuse me. Every church, pardon me, we do respect. My wife is nasty. And at times, you know, the person would dis can destroy uh, his wife or something or uh, her husband to you in the whole thing. You say, eh, eh. you will feel that you are special. I prophesy with my eyes open to give you just one year. And the person fed Pepe. And you, it will be ginger plus Pepe. Don't break someone's home. Yes. Wait before God. Mm. Years will come. Do unto what? Others as you will have them. As do you have them. Do unto you. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church, can I tell you this? If, if you don't have spirit of forgiveness... In a, if I don't have spirit of forgiveness, eh, there is no way I can stand here and preach. There are some people even I won't pray for them. Because the same people will go out there, talk against the prophet, but the same people will come, will do testing, hypocritically, and the whole thing, oh, prophet, pray for me, oh, anoint me. If I don't have spirit of forgiveness, you will not. Because you have spirit of forgiveness. That is why you are still with some people. Thank you, Jesus. It shows that you are a child of God. It shows that you've already released the matter onto the hands of God. But there are some certain things, church, when the word comes unto you, you must reject it. If you know that it is not right, if you know that this one yes, is not Lord, you yes, have Lord, rejected yes, Lord, yes, but if Lord. you know that you have rebelled against authority ah. or you have hammered someone or you've destroyed someone's home don't say that i have a covenant with god the covenant keeping god it will not come it will happen because what you did doesn't oh, imply with we are, we god. Come back to you
Am I speaking to someone? Yes. So look at these wonderful people before they take their seat. They have a covenant with God. Today of them. Shout hallelujah. Look at this. God will cover them. So the things that will come from Teresa, may God, Teresa, forgive me, this witch, I want to break you. There is no way to touch you because you have a protection from, from God. Mm. But listen to me, listen to me. Which God will never remove this covering from these wonderful people. But these people can decide to remove it or to come mm. out. Watch this. Out you come out. Step out. Hold on. When you step out, look at this, so step out. It means that this man is no more under a covering. this covering. Now this man has been what? Exposed. So any arrows or the plans of the enemy or those who want to finish him, they can get him because he is no more. And God is a gentle God. Is that when you decide to move under his covering, because he is a gentle God, shout hallelujah, God will not chase. I say God will not what? Chase. Because you have already what? Decided that you want to step out. Shout hallelujah. And look at this. Watch this. Do you know that because of the love of God, at times God can allow some certain things to happen to this one. And for this man to come back to his senses. So that he will run back yes. to that covering. But when this one refused and said that God, I don't want your covering anymore. I am going out there. And do you know the meaning of going out? Watch this. When you sin against God. Sin will let your enemies get you. But when you stay in holiness, in righteousness, the things they will do. Do you know last night the things they did against you and I? That our eye even do not see. Do you know? How many? But because we have a covenant with God, all their plans and the arrows they release, none of them didn't touch you. So I am here to prove to you, yes. when you wake up in the morning, eh, mm. eh, it's a threat to some people. Because some people thought that last night, oh, we have already finished Jomo, but this morning I am preaching. Oh, we've already finished this one, but you are here sitting, yes, yes, hearing yes, the word yes, of God. Yes. It means that you fear God. And because you fear the Lord, he has already hid you under his word, tent. But when you, excuse me, when you break the wall, and when you step out, the serpent will bite you. That is why one time, our papa, uh, 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 David, said that, I am under the rock. And the rock is higher. Who is that rock? And look at the same David. As the deer parted for waters, so my soul parted for what? Thee. But the same David one time said, Cast me not thy way from thy presence, O Lord. Do you know the time he said, that, Cast me not thy way from thy presence? So at that time, he has already seen against God and he was praying for forgiveness one time he had a covenant with God but because he sinned against God the man found out that I've already break the covenant then he started praying the book of Psalms cast me not thy presence O Lord what is the meaning of that it means that before your presence I will have protection. Because before your presence, you know, Lord, you will continue to cover me. Then he said that, take not your Holy Spirit from me. 
because I have sinned. A sin can cause a man of God to become dry. That is why you don't have to sin. Sin can be a full step for the enemy to what? To attack you. I'm going to prove to you right now. Live holy life. life. Mind your business. Serve God. The things that you know that when someone do to you, which you will feel the pain, don't do it to this so, one. Yes, yes. And this is the spiritual rule. Those that will try to break someone's kingdom and be their kingdom, it won't work. Because kingdoms belong to God. Mm. Allow God to give you your kingdom. But when I try to break your kingdom and build my kingdom, it will not stand. So in life, when you see your sister moving, thank God for her life. When you see your brother going up, thank God. Don't break her. Don't break him. At the right time, yours will come. Who knows that maybe yours will be more better mm. and powerful Jesus than Christ. that person. Yes. Church, can I tell you something? If you don't fear God, and if it's not because of holiness, number two, or if it's not because of heaven, that is why you are here. Don't come here again. Amen. Wow, Jesus Christ. It means that I am wasting my time. Yes. On and I don't want to waste my time. Yes. Waste your time on precious people. Don't yes, come here again. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. Because the church belongs to God. Yes. My God. Shout hallelujah. Mm. I said the church belongs to who? Belongs to God him. Almighty. I don't want God. to waste my time. Yes. Because of you, I want to get a crown before God. Mm. So if you are here, not because of the fear of God mm. or number two, because of heaven. But Jesus. if you are here because of heaven yes. and because of the fear of God, then you are more than welcome. Amen. 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 Mm. Jesus Christ. Everybody shout hallelujah. We have more hypocrites. This end time. The attempt that some people you don't get them. Stand for the truth. Yes. Fight for the truth. Yes. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. To pack my things all the way from Africa. Look at how many hours. Excuse me. And to come and pamper you. To come and dive you because of your money. By the way, which money? I came from Africa as a rich man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> travel, 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 travel. At the age of two. That was the time princess started traveling. England and so many places. At the age of I think two or something. Jesse was one or no, Jesse was two. Went to uh, United Kingdom and he stole candy. <laughs> he hid himself somewhere and was eating it. The white woman saw, yeah, uh, Papa J. Everybody <laughs> shout hallelujah. And the living God break every whole thing and say that go to America, teach my people, deliver them, let them know the ways of God. Mm. And you are here. Joking. Chad, can I tell you something? 
if I came here because of you guys, your money, that there is no way we will see this church. But because I didn't come for your money, that is why we've been able to purchase this place. Yes, Lord. That is why the church is moving on. Yes, Lord. I didn't come. If I came to put your money in my pocket, we could have still in that school, Waynock Elementary School. Yes, in Virginia. But I came to prepare you for the kingdom of God. I came to sharpen you. I came to set you free through the name of the living God from the hands of the enemy so that you will be free and to know your left and right and deliver others. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Glory be to God. Uh, the first day as a Vivian came to you know America, long, long, long time ago. Uh, you used to worship in we know some of the members said was not in a bad way. No, they said it in a good way. A certain lady, hey, this church mother even dressed more than we that live in. America just came from I started laughing I said who told you the woman has been traveling no England so many places and the whole thing and look at this so they were expecting that for her to come from Africa will wear waga waga wanganga <laughs> everybody shout hallelujah shout glory be to God so can I tell you something mm. when you become a public figure yes you must always put on your best yes because you are talking to people yes. personalities yes no. and you have to attract the attention of people yes. they decide a public, look at these stars the kind of dresses they yeah, wear they are wearing. and when a person wear a suit they, they will talk wear a shoe they will talk ah, what do you want me to do vehicle. do you want me to wear chocolate <laughs> Is it your money? No. Come on. That is my own money. If I have to buy donkey, now who costs something? <laughs> now, who bought you? Church, put on your best. Put on your best. Yes, Lord. Put on your best. Yes, Lord. Because a day is coming. Yes. You cannot wear no man, no that man. your best. No now that you are alive, put on your best. Because you are, you have a meeting with your father in heaven. Yes, divine appointment. Well, ah, yes, Lord. Can I tell you something? When you have appointment, Joanna, like when they call you for an interview, oh yeah, or have a business appointment. Yes, yes. You put on your what? You put on your best. You can wear casual. Yeah, first impression. You like, uh, let me tell. Interview, and you wear jeans. And set. My son, does it make sense? Say, Yanko, does it make sense? Look at the way you always put your thing. That's why my daughter is still <laughs> hanging around. <laughs> Everybody shout hallelujah. The moment you enter that office, they would reject you. Jeans and a shirt for that powerful job. A suit or you put a jacket on am i right no nice shirt you can open it without a tie and put little pocket square you have your documents ready when they ask you page one you then they will know that you were a serious person the time you didn't know god that you used to party and those things look at the kind of dress and now that you know god how much more it means that any time you come to the house of God, it means that you have a meeting with the King oh, of Kings. My God. The Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus. 
God. Can I tell you something? One Hollywood star can buy one's a uh, jacket that costs of $25,000. One necklace, am I right, that can cost $100,000. So when you buy this that can cost, let's take it $400. As a child of God, mm. ambassador of God, that you, you represent God. Kingdom. Mohammed. Yes, sir. I have to preach with you today. <laughs> you are my assistant pastor. Yes, sir. Sanyako, come. Everybody watch this. Mm. Do you know that the word of the Lord said that we must go into the word and preach the kingdom, uh, uh, the word of God, mm. and said unto them, the kingdom of God is at hand, that our father is coming soon. Am I right? Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let me tell you this. Look at this wonderful man, Mr. Nyako. Uh, John, bring one chair. Be fast. Be fast. Can you see nine sides? Nice. And look at this. Yes. Am I right? Mm. Sit down, Mr. Nyako. <laughs> this is your office. <laughs> this man is a millionaire. And look at the dress. Very nice. Very, am I right? Yeah, yeah. And look at this. <laughs> look at this. Let's take it now. This one is not a suit. Something... I just put on jeans, and this one, you know, you can see who here. Yeah, yeah, also. You can see another one here, baggy one. And I didn't put anything, just ordinary t shirt. And that t shirt, you can see the neck, half neck. And, and, there you and no down. cologne. <laughs> no uh, 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 deodorant. And the pan, this side has already ripped. Shout hallelujah. And I will hold half Bible and my shoe. Another one, you know, this one, the mat has already Lifted opened. Him. Like KLM that is about to take off from Skipu. Lifted. Shout hallelujah. And look at this. And you will enter the office of this man. Church, do you know something? At the gate, at the gate, the way they will question you. Say that, what do you want? Oh, I am here to see director, director, director Niako. Director, they will begin to but sense you, some certain yeah. things that the kind of your shoes and the kind of your dress doesn't correspond with yeah. our director. Okay, let's take it. They will allow you to enter into the director's uh, uh, office. Director, I just came to preach to you. That Jesus is coming soon. I want you to know that my God can bless and come unto him and he will bless you. This man will look at your shoe. Mm -hmm. Because what you are saying doesn't correspond yes, with your. Kayaba. So, how can we win these directors into the kingdom? Mm. How can you bring wonderful people into the kingdom? Great people. You must first reach to their, their level. If not, they will not listen to you. And how can you get to their level? But let me put nine suit, my nice pocket square with my bag. Hello, 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 hello. They won't even ask any questions. They will open the door. <laughs> is your director in? <laughs> Mr. Nyaki, they will say, yes, sir. The director is in because of this. The things at times you will put it on. And the level God will put you. And the kind of things yes, God will begin to bring into your life. Yes, Lord. It can influence Kata, Kata, Kata. people. Mm. That when you speak they will listen. Bad ways. Bad ways. And the things teaching that is, they are not from the living God. It's a terrible sickness. 
that when it touch into someone's mind, it takes time. It can mess you up. But I will tell you the truth. If you want to listen to the truth, listen. If you don't want to listen, I don't care. I've already revealed the truth unto you. And I've already washed my hands as a servant of God. Serve your God. Come to church. Do what you want to do. Believe what you want to believe. I've already preached the good news unto you. Thank you, Jesus. He told his prophet, he says, tell them. Rebuke them. Let them know. Wash your hands from the air. Uh, sin. Shout hallelujah. Can I tell you something? A bad way can open your eyes in a negative way. Satan used words against my kind. When he entered the Garden of Eden, he asked the woman first a question. When someone asks you a question, ask that person a question. The answer you will give to that person, they can stand on it and fight you. And they can win your mind. Yes. Satan asked. It was worse. So be very careful about worse. Yes. The things that you know that when you hear and when you see, it won't help you about your Christianity. When you see them, take them out. Yes. Amen. Mm. But this end time, because of hypocrisy, oh no, by the way, let me ask you this, by the way. For me to tell you that the kingdom of God is at hand, God is coming soon. In the whole. Do you know the reason why? Oh, Jesus is coming soon. Come out, deliverance, break this, out, Friday, uh, we return everything back to what? Senders in the whole church. Do you know the meaning? Somebody will say, I'll return everything back to senders. That is not the word of God. You don't understand Bible. In warfare, we have a rules back to send. And it's the same back to sender that delivered them from evil. The same back to sender that delivered them years ago. In, when we talk about warfare, it's fire for fire. So when you come here Friday night and let's enter into the realms of the spirit, break some certain things, it's not a mercy time. It's a war fair. Then you go, you're a military man. <laughs> that you train people in a whole thing, a whole uh, uh, good one. I don't know if it's true. That when you step into the warfare, you know, war grounds in the whole thing, and when someone fire, what do you have to do? You have to fire back. <laughs> of course. Oh, yes. And me, I am a military man. I'm a warrior. So when I train you how to fight, at times even you have to teach your children to become tough, that no one can bully them. Because at times there are some people when they, hey, and you'll be at the corner in the whole thing. But let me tell you, the day that person will try to give back, hey, you can't tell me to, you will see that those people run. So it's not every time that, you know, in the name of the living God, pa, 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 pa. He said, may the Lord forgive you. You don't know, you don't know what you're doing. Pow, pow. He said, may the Lord forgive you. Ah. So when you have a stake in your hands, yes, sir. I'm not saying that go and kill Seneca. No, we don't do it here. No. When you have a stake in your hands, yes, sir. and when a serpent enters your house, yes, sir. What do you have to do? Oh, in the name of Frank Juma, where is Papa? Come and consume more. <laughs> Spiritual rules. Spiritual what? <laughs> rules. <laughs> Pastor Richard. So, now, look at this man. Before you can get to the level of this man, or before this man will hear your, your message, 
What do you have to do? Amara, you have to get to his what? Level. And this man will hear the. I saw something. Somebody sent it to me and the whole thing. Rich man, rich dad, rich something, something. The guy was holding a baby. It was a fake baby. I don't know if some of you saw it. And the man had a nine seed. There is a book, Rich Dad and Poor Dad or something. That guy was holding a fake baby. I think somewhere in, in New York or Las Vegas or somewhere. Fake baby. Seed, nice one. And started begging. Please, can you give me money? I, I just left my world somewhere in the whole thing. Can you give me money? I need uh, uh, $2 to buy something for my... They will... Oh, and they started giving. Can you give me money? Please, I just left my wallet in my something, something. I need something to buy, sir, you know. And they started. And the man went change, put homeless dress. Homeless something, James, dirty one. Please, can you give me, hey, go away. Can you give me, hey, go away. Can you give me? Look at this. May the Lord today lift you onto the higher height. Amen. May the Lord, God bless you. Mr. Yaku, God bless you. Some moment, God bless you. <laughs> this one is very expensive. But that's all. Right. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Look at someone say, May the Lord, look at someone say, Father Lord. Father Lord. Lift me up today. Lift me up today. Take me onto the higher height. Take me onto the higher height. Today, oh Lord. Today, oh Lord. Change my situation. Change my situation. Change my lifestyle. Change my lifestyle. So that I so that I can win more souls. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. May the Lord today stand yes, on Lord. this way yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. and change yes, your Lord. lifestyle. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord today yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. take you onto the higher height. Yes, Lord. May the Lord today. Yes. May the living God today. Mm. Send you from your head to your feet. Yes. So that when you speak, nations will hear. Amen. If I'm speaking to somebody, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. This 2019, if I be a prophet of God, yes, I declare unto you that you will enter places which your own strength yes, Lord. cannot take you. Amen. By the favor of God, yes. will take you to that place. Amen. You will bring millionaires. You will bring rich ones yes, into this house. In if I'm speaking to you, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. May the Lord change your language yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus. Yes, Do you know that the word of the Lord said that two cannot walk except they agree? Yes, Starting from today, ah. may the Lord disconnect you from yes. wrong source yes, and direct you to the right in source. The when you speak, people will hear. Amen. Say, Amen. I receive. I receive it. Yes, Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church, if not, watch this. If not, you will continue to bring the caliber of your people. So if you are poor, a poor, excuse me, a poor man, you will bring poor people. Jesus needs poor people. Jesus needs rich people. Jesus needs everyone. He wants everyone. Shout hallelujah. But the level you are <laughs> will determine what? The kind of people. Look at, excuse me, with due respect, pardon me, those who drink alcoholic. When they meet, you can see half shoe. Ah, yesterday was great. You see another, oh, get away. In the whole thing, you can see that. It's like, let me tell you, it's like they have some kind of association. And they know themselves since a.m. All of them will wake up. They, will, they know where to meet together. Shout hallelujah. They know where to what? To meet. Church, for you to be rich is not sin. Don't let anyone, you know, some preachers this end time preach about, oh, all these men of God this end time preach about prosperity, prosperity. They don't talk about the kingdom of God. Church, 
prosperity too is part of the kingdom. Because Jesus said that I became poor so that you will be rich. If riches is not what? They are not uh, 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 good. There is no way Jesus could have said that I became uh, poor so that you'll be rich. Does it make sense to somebody? Today may the Lord change your lifestyle. Receive it in Jesus' name. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have few minutes. Just two minutes before we start our second service. Church, when we finish, if you have to go to work or something, may the living God be with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Uh, Pastor Chris, read uh, uh, Numbers 22. Numbers 22 and verse number 12. Be fast. Numbers. Everybody, please. Everybody get into your Bible. Open your Bible. I want you to write it down and it will help you. Numbers 22 and verse number what? Verse 12. Verse 12. But God said to Balaam. Hold on. But God said to Balaam. Yes. We do have, not, we have, uh huh. Go ahead. Do not go with them. You must not put a cross on those people because they are blessed. Hold on, hold on. Start it again. But God said to Balaam, but God said to Balaam, do not go with them. Do not go with Balaam. You must not put a cross hold on, on those people. You must not put a curse on those people, on those people because they are. Bless. How can you curse the one whom God has blessed? Do you know the reason why God used that word? Because Israelites had the covenant with God. And study the Bible, church, because of time. You know, this book, it, church, is something that we cannot finish preaching about this one until Jesus comes. Because the word of the Lord says that his mercies are new every month. Anytime you pick this book, you receive another one. You receive another word. Church, you can use the book of Matthew to preach like a thousand times. But it will be the same chapter, different, uh, the same book. Why do not put a curse on those people? Because they are blessed by who? God Almighty. Do you know the reason why? Israelites had a covenant with God. Watch this. And when you study the Bible, any time church, the children of Israel disobey God, embrace God's covenant, the enemy attacks them. And because of sin, God handed them over unto the hands of their enemies. Sin will patch a way for the enemies to attack you. Let me tell you this. Let me use this word. Even if you have a covenant with God Almighty, church, and when you continue to sin against him, the things that will happen to you some kind of sickness. The torture that you will go through once you are alive. Until you get there. Then why don't you live right? When you see sin coming, run. And if you can't run, you have to be like Joseph. Don't run, but you have to what? Flee. And do you know the meaning for you? Do you know that meaning? It's like when you put a bed in a cage. The bed does, does not what? Run. When you make a mistake. Pow! How come David and uh, Joseph run from that scholarship? From that sugar mama? Why? He said to himself, Though my God revealed his secret unto me, that Joseph, you shall be great among your brothers and your sisters, and let me use this word, your sisters, which don't get me wrong, and your papa and the whole thing, 
you will be the head. Joseph said that, no, this is not the way God wants to use and lift me up. I must run from it. When you run from sin, whether you like it or not, there are some certain things you will feel it. But church, run. Your end shall be great. great. Amen. And the one that will enjoy the most will be you. Amen. If Joseph could have, uh, you know, accepted that scholarship from uh, Big Mama, do you know something? It will be, hold on, it will be the house of Potiphar, the house of what? Potiphar, double meat, double food, and pocket money. That his life will be limited. But because he refused, he said, I don't care. If I have to bite, I will bite. If you have to take major church, at times those who want to accuse you will find something tangible and prove to people. The woman took the garment of what? Those who want to accuse you can use some certain things against you. The good things that you did, they will not use that thing. But the things that you did, uh, that was not right. They would that little thing, they will use it to prove to people that you are the most dangerous person. But let me tell you this: your reward is in the hands of Elohim. Your reward is in the hands. The woman had the proof. He said, "If I'm lying." This dress belonged to who? Honey, it belonged to... He said, yes, the one I gave to him. He said, let's go to court. Potiphar had connections with the lawyers and judges. And you, this guy from Hebrew land to the land of Egypt. As soon as this guy entered court, check, the judge looked at him and said, you, this boy, go in. I'm not going to judge in the whole thing, you know, uh, final judgment in the whole thing. Go in. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And some of you, when you study the word of God church, they didn't give David sentence, uh, you know. No, that one, that guy was still waiting for his trial. That was the time Jesus, uh, God Almighty, went there. He said, because this guy ran from sin, because this guy rejected those things, it is time for the living God to lift him up. Look at this. Look at this. Don't allow, God, don't allow the enemy to bring something in your life and to stop you. You don't have to be limited. Don't let the enemy you sin to tie you where they want you to be. With due respect. Reject it. You go through pains. Reject it. They will accuse you. Reject it. They will lie on you. Reject it. But when the appointed time comes, those that put you to jail, those that sentence you, those that lied against you, those who fabricated some evil uh, story. story against you, that day, all of them will come under you. We all know that Joseph became next in command. It means that all the judges, Potiphar and his wife came under him. That is how righteousness, holiness can lift someone. No. We have big, big mummies in the system right now. They will give you scholarship. It is going on right now. America here is not that much. I don't know if because I don't go anywhere. But Africa is rampant. Big mummies. And they have serpents around the uh, something. When you sleep with them, they will give you money, a whole thing, and you will die. Recently, something like that happened in Accra. The woman killed six boys. The same area. Will give you scholarship and those boys ah, will enjoy. Lo and, uh, and behold, church, six months, seven months, the person will die. This one, six months and seven months, and they found out that all of them had uh, something with that woman. So the youth in that area, the boys rushed the woman's house, went there with uh, stones and the whole thing, broke into a whole thing. The woman's under the woman's bed, a big python. Inside the blood. Inside what? Blood. Blood. I will, I will confess, I will confess, I will confess. 
Any man that I was, the woman can buy cars in the hotel. Why this end time? Many people want to use shortcuts and break in life. Mm. That is not the spiritual rule. Yes. May the living God today bless someone. He said, how can I curse those whom uh, what? Thank God has what? Bless. Chris, are you done? Are you done? Uh -huh. He said, go back to your own country. Am I right? Uh -huh. uh, are you there? That's why. Uh -huh. But God said to Balaam, do not go with them. You must not put a cross on those people because they are blessed. The next morning, Balaam got up and said... Everybody Balaam, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Look at verse 23 and 7. Then I'm done. 23 and 7. Yes. 23. And verse number what? 7. Yes, numbers. Then Balaam uttered his oracle. Balak brought me from Aram the king of Moab, from the eastern mountains. Come, he said. Hold on. Come, he said. Mm -hmm. Curse Jacob for me. Hold on. Curse Jacob for me. Listen to me. Come, he said. Curse Jacob for me. Do you know the reason why Balak wanted Balaam to curse the children of Israel? Do you know the reason why? Because the man found out that those people, they are indeed blessed. That there is no way you can penetrate and curse them. So someone has to come first and curse them. And do you know that because they had a covenant with God, it's God Almighty that fought for them. Because the covenant was still intact. If you want God to fight for you, don't come out from his word, covenant. Stay in. If you want your battle to be his battle, abide by his words. Refrain yourself from sin. The first word, S, Stand for sport. And another definition stand for separation. Church, Christ is coming soon. And everything shows that Christ is coming soon. And I want you to know that you are not here by mistake or neither by chance. Look at the place you worship God and the things, the places that you've been going in the whole thing and God brought you here. It's not a mistake. The Lord has brought you here and for you to work towards your salvation. The Lord brought you here because the man who is in charge, his mind and everything is about the kingdom. How he can prepare people to present them to God Almighty. Apart from that, nothing. That is my vision. That is my word, vision. And it's up to you to listen or Reject it. But if you can listen in church, I am telling you that you will go far. One time a friend of mine told me, he said, Prophet, if I have this kind of anointing you have, I will not open a church. I could have been a millionaire. I, I told Mr. Joe, they know the guy that I'm talking about. The guy one time preached in our church, uh, Virginia. And I rejected him. And I look at him and I say, why? Is it this kind of anointing for you to stay in a one place? 
Organize revivals. The way you be rich. So I marked the guy. I said, okay, this guy. Okay, prof. And I said, prof, he's a prophet. I said, prof, oh, let's move on. Let's go and eat. We went to uh, some place, you know, Alexandra area, uh, all you can eat, that place. We ate, finished everything, and the whole thing. And uh, another way, if I have a church, and I have only Bill Gate, my church, if I have only Bill Gate, I don't care. I can preach to Bill Gate day and morning, afternoon, we'll pay big time. When I went home, I said, this guy, you cannot be my friend. And I removed his number. It's about 13 years now. Telling people in Africa, Ghana, that I'm a wicked person. That anytime he wants to come, he will greet me. Anytime he comes to America, he will greet me. I don't tell him to come and preach. I don't invite him in the whole thing. And I told one guy, I said, I would like to see him. He said, I have his number. I said, do you know the reason why I don't invite you to my church? Because you don't have a good mind. Your mind is on money. Do you remember this day? Do you remember this time? Oh, prophet, forgive me. You know, I didn't. I said, no, no, you cannot be a good friend. When I stick to you, you will destroy me. You will put something into my mind. Shout Hallelujah. Focus on the kingdom. Pray to people. Make hell empty. We have to make heaven full. So church, if you are in this house, may your mind be the kingdom minded person. And your life will never be the same. The devil is working hard. Social media, Facebook, church, Satan is working hard. That's I'm talking to you right now. We have church of Satan that they just introduced last year. Lunch there. Their symbol is Satan. Church of Satan. Another church called Naked I Came. The pastor is naked. All the church members, they are naked. Naked I came. Some use serpents to worship. When the anointing comes upon them, they will put their hands, take snakes, move all over. That two years ago, one serpent, bet, uh, 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 the man of God, rejected to go to, uh, and he died. Church, so many things are going on. But let me tell you this. This is the time that Christians must work hard. And to prove to the world that the world doesn't belong to Satan, but the world belongs to God. He is the owner. Yes. In the beginning, he created. Mm. Satan is a thief. And Christians, with due respect, with due respect, we are joking, fighting each other. When you see your sister going up, your pastor going up, you want to bring him down. Bringing each other down. Be on your feet. May you touch your heart. I want you to pray this prayer now. The Lord renew a right spirit within me. Give me anointing, O Lord, to let people know that you are the, what? The living God. Jesus is the same. Am I right? Yesterday, today, and forevermore. Because of time, even though we could have, you know, the book of Ephesians. But may the living God today Take you onto the higher heart. Pastor Chris, the book of Ephesians 27. Be on your feet and I'm done. When you go home today, church, can I tell you something? Think about the kingdom. 
Think about the kingdom. Church, there are so many fake things going on in the system. Uh, a friend of mine came, uh, Pastor Victor called me uh, last week. Because, you know, the things that is going on in the system is something you know, with this fake, fake prophet. And I started laughing. I said, brother, <laughs> it's dangerous. Though. And he asked me, what? Are you afraid <laughs> that they are destroying our business? I said, put your weight, they are destroying our church. And later on, we came out to conclusion. Let me tell you this. You will destroy yourself. My name is Frank Jomo. When I give fake prophecy, deceive people, I will destroy my name. I cannot destroy the kingdom. If someone can destroy the kingdom, I will tell you that they could have destroyed that kingdom long time ago. Because some people did horrible things more than, than today. But the kingdom is still... Because Jesus said, and I will build my church and the gates of edge cannot prevail against. So many will come and go but some God was still. But do you know my vision? Do you know the reason why I don't rush in life? Because I want to be a mentor to generations upon generations. And if you want to be a mentor, you have to take your time and do things. And do what? And do things. It is very important. Pastor Chris, read. Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5. Let me read from 25 to 7. Yes, read 20. Uh, yes, go ahead. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy. Cleansing. Hold on. Hold on. Husbands, love your what? Love your wives. Everybody touch your heart. Uh -huh. Just as Christ loved the church. Hold on. Husbands, love your wife as who? As, as Christ, Christ loved, loved the, church the church. And gave do, you know, him. do you know that the church is the wife of Christ? Yes, yes. So if you are inside of this church, or all the churches that they are from the living God, our husband is Christ. Jesus. That one day, one day, our husband will come and take us. Mm. And look at what Apostle Paul said. To make her holy. Hold on. To make her holy. Holy. Cleansing her by Cleansing the washing, her what? By the washing with water through the world. Uh -huh. Verse 27. And to present her to himself as a radiant church without strain, without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish but holy and blameless are you done yes no more shout hallelujah look unto your neighbor and say neighbor neighbor may the living god today may the living god today touch you touch you. may you be on your god feet. bless you god bless you be on your feet